So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today, a very important topic, especially if there is any candidate from uh, this August, uh, you will get one question at least from here with this specific topic, okay? So, this is because 200 questions are there and this is the most important topic from nephrology, okay? So, CKD anemia management. What do you know that um, I will try to put it in a very simple language and in a shorter form as I'm doing. If anyone from Bangladesh, you have to raise your hand, then I will shift my language to Bangla. Otherwise, as there are international candidates are more, I'm going on on English. If anyone interested to be in Bangla, please tell me because as I promised, okay, English everyone. Okay, anyway. So <clears throat> CKD anemia, right? CKD, uh, one of the complication of CKD is anemia. What is the cause? What is the cause? Why there is anemia? There are so many causes. There can be so many causes. The important cause, the important cause, mostly important. What is that one? The, that one is that they, they are having that erythropoietin factor is coming down. This EPO erythropoietin factor, this is actually reducing in their body. That's why this is the main cause of the anemia. So if it is mainly, this is the significant factor, okay? <laughs> Just a minute, I need to know. But there are also some other causes, okay? But this one is the, it can, it could be maybe uh, because of vomiting or maybe the because of he cannot absorb that much iron. So, so many causes, it is not important for your MRCP exam. What is important, that specific points I will tell you. So, the main point is, what is the cause? There is usually, there is a poetin factor. It is coming down. This is the hematopoietic growth factor. It is forming the hematopoiesis. That means forming of the heme, right? So, forming of the RBCs, okay? So, if hypo factor is the main factor, it is the cause, main cause. So how you will treat it? Obviously, you will treat by the which one is deficiency. We'll give him this. So EPO, you will give the EPO. He will give the EPO. EPO means erythropoietin. Or you can tell erythropoietin, this uh, stimulating factor. Okay, ESA, sometimes they are telling. So it could be erythropoietin, okay, or darbapoietin. This is a new one, darbapoietin erythropoietin. Okay, then these all are erythropoietin stimulating agent. Okay, so you need to know about this name also. This is also a kind of erythropoietin stimulating agent, ESA. Okay, so before giving the EPO, you need to be sure that you have corrected the iron level. You need to sure why if iron level is low, even if you are giving the EPO, he's helpless. He cannot work because you will need iron to make the RBCs, right? Hemoglobin to formation of the hemoglobin. So if there is no iron, even EPO is there, erythropoietin is there, he cannot work alone. So whenever there is a question in your exam with CKD, anemia, your eyes would be first hemoglobin level. Then your eyes would be what? To that T saturation level. And your eyes would be at the ferritin level. If these are corrected or not. Okay. So whenever anemia correction, how they will give you anemia? Maybe they will give you direct question. Patient is anemic. Or maybe they will tell you that the patient is pain. Patient is having exertional palpitation. He's feeling so weak and you look at the hemoglobin, it is low. So because of anemia, he's feeling this kind of sign symptom. Okay, so they want you from treatment. They want you from the treatment. Now, when they want you the treatment, obviously our main main treatment should be EPO. But as I told you, before EPO, before EPO, we need to correct that hemoglobin, I mean that iron level. So what should be your target? There is some target level. What is the target level? The target level is, the target level is 10, just a minute, I will change the color. 10, 20, 100, 200. Sorry, 200 it is. This is the way to remember very easily. 10, 20, 100, 200. What is 10, 20, 100, 200? Hemoglobin should be more than 10. It should be 10 to 12. Average how much? 11. 10 to 12, 
if you are dividing 10, 11, 12 divided by 3, it is coming 11, right? So easy equation. So 10 to 12, it should be more than 10, okay? If it is more than 10, that means, okay, it's finished. Patient doesn't have need to be correct the iron level, okay? So if less than this, yes, you have to correct the iron level first, okay? Desaturation has to be more than 20%. Iron ferritin, this ferritin level should be more than 100 in a CKD patient, but more than 200 CKD with him, who is with dialysis. That's it. Very easy way to remember. 10, 20, 100, 200. If you can remember this, you can correct the iron. Now, this is the level. Now come, how you will correct it, okay? Obviously, you can give oral or maybe the IV, right? either oral or IV, right? So first thing is you have to choose the oral always unless otherwise something is in your question. So the exceptional thing, if you know which, when you need to jump directly to IV, then the other, all things you have to be with oral, okay? So what are the things that you have to jump to IV at the first uh, I mean, whenever you are looking at the question that you need to jump to IV, not the oral. What are the question? I mean, situation. If patient, they mention patient is on dialysis. Don't go for oral, jump to IV. They want IV for you, okay? Number two, <clears throat> because their absorption power is not that much, okay? If they are mentioning that patient is ESRD, end stage renal disease, and this stage renal disease means the patient is on dialysis. Maybe some question they will even not mention that the patient is on dialysis. They will give you this word only, ESRD. The patient known case of ESRD came with anemia. How you will correct, okay? So he's on dialysis, go for IV. Number three, if they're mentioning only EGFR level, obviously EGFR level according to the CKD uh, staging, right? You know, CKD staging five, this is the last stage. This is what we are telling when the EGFR is less than 15, right? So this stage five actually may need dialysis, not always, not always. Whenever CKD stage five plus uremic sign symptom, yes, they need dialysis. Okay, or renal, not dialysis always, renal replacement therapy, RRT. That is including, oh, oh, I'm sorry. That is including your RRT, including dialysis or transplant, whatever it is. That means there is renal failure. Simply, there is renal failure. Okay. So CKD, even if it is less than 15, can you go, is this end stage? No, actually end stage is not that much because maybe they didn't mention you about the signs symptom. If EGFR, they are telling five to seven, I mean less than 10. Yes, you need to go directly for IV. So 10 to 15, even there is chance you can go for oral. Maybe the patient is still not on dialysis. If they mentioned already on dialysis, obviously you have to go IV. Okay, so EGFR less than 10, go IV. ESRD, they have this word in your question, go for IV. Patient on dialysis, go for ID, IV. Number four, patient is vomiting. He cannot take anything per mouth. Patient is already not tolerant to oral iron. He tried two to three days, he's vomiting or he's having constipation, he's having some side effect. Obviously, he doesn't like oral. You need to go with his preference, right? So accept these four conditions blindly go for oral how many days three months three months of oral failed again i think that's it that's it if you know this the four condition for iv other than that all are with oral all are with oral so for your part one specifically they will not make it so much complicated with the egfr or with esrd these two points but it's still, you know, sometimes they are giving questions from part two past medicine also. And part two past medicine, they have questions from this two and three number. That's why I mentioned because some people I know here attending, they're appearing this August, okay? So if they're just 
if you're now listening, so inshallah, you will not forget because recent knowledge always having very good imprint on your brain. Okay. So these two, yes. Again, go for IV. That's it. Okay. Inshallah, you all will remember. Okay. So this is the thing, oral and IV, how you will treat. That is the management. Some specific thing about this EPO, just in a short, I want to tell you. From EPO, sometimes they are giving you what is the complications maybe, okay? What are the complications? So how I am remembering that what are the side effects, right? What are the side effects? So how I am remembering, I'm remembering A, B, BP, PCV, PP, one is platelet, one is potassium. That's it. And this one is EPO. This one is that one, EPO-induced epilepsy. What are these? Okay. First, A, it could be anaphylactic reaction. It could be articaria, right? Yes, B for bone pain. BP, it can go high up. Even they can come with you, hypertensive crisis, okay? And your BP target here should be less than 170 by 110. This is also one of your question, okay? PCV, high up. Platelet high up, potassium high up, everything up. So what is only the thing that will be low? Iron. Because iron is necessary to make up that erythropoiesis, right? So iron level will be low only. Sometimes they are having red cell aplasia. What is that? You are giving EPO from outside, right? The patient already maybe have some EPO from him from for himself and against this endogenous hippo he's having already the antibody here in his body so this antibody will work against the new hippo which you are giving from outside so ultimately they will have no cell production there will be red cell aplasia okay dear <clears throat> so these two things only can come down other than that everything high up in hippo last but not the least epo induced epilepsy what is this there is a question a patient started with epo after maybe two months he started with seizure fits what is the cause there is nothing new cause he is not known case of fits not known case of any epilepsy so what is the matter why he is suddenly involved and epo i have started before two months yes yes still 90 days three months 90 days or three months it can cause epilepsy in a patient. Even before three months, he started maybe the doctor with erythropoietin. This epilepsy, this fits of today, it is the cause because of this EPO. Okay, dear, there is also a question. A uh, voice, what happened? Uh, you are not listening, dear. Anything? Dr. Hansa, can, can't you listen to me, dear? Is my voice clear or not? Hello. Yes, clear. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, dear. Uh, that's it. This is the thing. And last but not the least, there is also one question that if a sportsman comings, okay, because you know, erythropoietin, what they're, uh, I mean, helping, they are uh, increase the exercise tolerance power. I mean, they can do more exercise, they will have more tolerance because they're having more hemoglobin, more oxygen, no? they know more power. So sometimes a sportsman, they are taking EPO IV to get more energy, okay? So that's why some sportsmen, whenever any international level competition like Olympics or anything is there, they are diagnosis or they, they are doing an investigation before giving the yes card to them. What is the diagnosis? They are taking the urine sample to check if there is EPO level is high or not. Okay, so how many weeks, up to how many weeks it could be there, few weeks, up to few weeks, this EPO can be in the urine, it could be high. Okay, so if a question is there that a sportsman came, maybe you are suspecting which sample you should take urine, which sample you should take urine, that's it. All the question from your CKD management and your
Is there any question or I will end it? Any question, dear? Assalamualaikum, doctor. What did you say about uh, erythropoietin being ta uh, taken IV? The three months thing, like you said, the fifth thing. What was the fifth point? No, 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 not the fifth point. Three, a uh, four point I have given you. Okay. So vomiting? Okay. Yeah, vomiting. Yes, RD. Yes, RD. EGF, uh, that one is EGFR level, five to seven. Less okay. than 10. Okay. okay, dear. And five, okay, if you're you. telling that oral cannot, uh, I mean, oral already used for three months, that one you can include as five fifth points. Okay. Okay, dear. So oral EPO taken for three months and no uh, improvement. positive re response? Yes. No improvement? So then you switch to IV? Yes. Thank you. So oral only up to three months. Okay. Uh, what happened? Iron Thank and... you. Uh, okay, welcome, dear. Iron and EPO will be low. Uh, Dr. Minam, I didn't get your question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Yes, dear. I will say that everything will be high in uh, EPO uh, therapy except mm -hmm. iron and EPO red, levels. Red cell aplasia. I mean, in a aplasia means it is not forming, right? So RBC cell down will be, I mean, aplastic will be there. You got my point? Okay, ma'am. That's why yes, I, thank choose, you. I choose that one in your minus point. I mean, in the decreasing so that you can remember. This is the only two things there you will get the decreasing things. Other than that, everything increasing. To way of thank you, ma'am. Okay, dear. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else, dear? Any other question? So, whoever attended this session, please, 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 I want you any question from CKD Anemia, you need to be corrected, inshallah. Okay, and you will have question. I can assure you, you will have question. Okay, dear. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, maybe after twenty minutes, we have another session uh, with that. Uh, APLS, this antiphospholipid syndrome. Uh, I will come back, inshallah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I love us.